Hello everybody. My name is Jonas Auda and on behalf of my colleagues Uwe Grünefeld and Stefan Schneegers, I'm going to present If the Map Fits Exploring Minimaps as Distractors from Non-Euclidean Spaces in Virtual Reality. To enable natural walking in virtual reality, we must use the physical space available as efficiently as possible. Therefore, we can use impossible spaces. We can consider this virtual environment consisting of two rooms. We can split this environment and make the rooms bigger. When users walk from one room into the other, they get teleported unnoticingly in the corridor. In reality, the two rooms share 50% of the physical space. That's why they're called overlapping architectures. Through this overlap, we can use the available physical space more efficiently for natural walking. But if the overlap is too large, VR users recognize that this space is impossible and the illusion breaks down. Therefore, we thought of a minimap as a distraction or a reassurance that the environment is not impossible. These two rooms share parts of the available physical space. We developed a minimap of the environment. These minimaps show the rooms always side by side. The left minimap is for an environment with no overlap. The right minimap shows an environment with 50% overlap. That's why it is stretched. For example, this is a walking path of a VR user in virtual reality. In fact, the user walks back into the area where the journey started. With this minimap, we conducted a user study. Our participants used the minimap to identify objects to pick up and locations to drop them off. We invited 12 participants, self-identifying as nine male, three female and none other, with an average age of 30 years. In the study, they traversed five consecutive levels with increasing overlap. Most of our participants recognized that something is not right with the rooms in room three. This is an overlap of 100%. We asked the participants how they recognized that the rooms are in fact overlapping. Our participants stated that they needed less physical steps at a certain level to get from one room into the other. Or they could compare the corridor length to the room width and saw that they are not matching. Also, they observed that the cursor that represents their position on the minimap moved faster on a stretched map. To summarize, we used the minimap to distract VR users from impossible spaces in virtual reality to use the available physical space for natural walking more efficiently. When the overlap was at 100% or extended even further, our participants recognized that the space is impossible. To improve our minimap as a reassurance or a distractor from non-Euclidean spaces in VR, we thought of maps that move with the user or differently distorted maps that efficiently hide the fact that a virtual environment is impossible in the real world. That concludes our presentation. Thank you for the attention.